Ta exclusive dimensional bean cob with another exclusive. So basically, what you see in front of you right now is a circle, a point, a star, and of course, what you want to manifest. Basically, a sun ritual. But being that the sun is not out right now, this is basically a demonstration. Because, you know, everything you have to do is basically put it to test for yourself. And basically, you got to share the information. This way, life can be so much easier for people, places, and things. And we can actually start get the ball rolling. So, basically, look at it like this. First thing first, which you need to understand and understand with sun rituals. These are all for the disclaimers. Because I'm about to basically put a kill and basically put a destruction, a.k.a death to any person place a thing that's talking about oh this is voodoo this is uh rituals this is not good i don't go against this but these be the same motherfuckers that eat the bread of whoever you worship drink the blood of whoever you worship and eat chickens and cut up chicken and that's the same shit that's a ritual right there and of course spells which is words which we use basically english language this language that we speak is babylon which is aka Every language that we speak can have good vibrations and low vibrations. So at the end of the day, <clears throat> you can be possessed. So I don't want to hear that bullshit. Oh, this person tell you this, this person tell you that. That person tell you that shit so you can be afraid of this shit. So you won't basically express your true power. So basically, why, what, was the, what would be the whole purpose of you being on this planet if you don't know, use the energy or access it for yourself? So you got to take that into consideration. So... Shit like, like even you can use a book to access energies. People use crystals to access energies. People use jewelry to access energy. You also, the cross is a star, too. So, understand and understand that shit. You be the same motherfuckers that be talking about, oh, I don't worship the stars. I'm not into astrology. Yeah. Whole time they'll watch the news and they'll see the whole, you'll see on TV, there's a fucking earth sign, which is a star, right at the bottom of the shit, but you're still receiving the information. So, you can't run a hide. Astrology, the stars, everything debunks everything. So, if you want to be naive and pass up on energies and basically be a to be somebody's servant and somebody's puppet, that's your choice. But this shit right here, you want to manifest fast in life. I'm just living proof, and basically this is how we do it. So first thing first, what you do, you draw the circle, get some chalk, you know, whatever color you want to use. For instance, green represents growth. That represents structure. Brown represents the root. Red represents aggression, passion. Yellow represents desires. Passion is also mixed in with the sun, too. So these are just playing with uh, color spectrums. Black is like dark, you know, deg negative energy. Um, that's basically dealing with that spectrum. And that's how it plays out. So whatever color that you are unique with and whatever color that resonates with you, that best to you. It don't really matter. It's all about program. Feel me? You can pick any color, but it's all about your intentions when you're basically doing this. Feel me? You can get crystals. You can crystallize things. are awesome when you do this stuff. So it can basically <clears throat> resonate with you. So what you do, of course, you know, you grab the chalk. You draw, you draw a circle. You put, the, you, put the line, you put the line right here. This is like basically what you want to manifest fast and bring quickly into your life. So... This way, <clears throat> people, places, and things that tell you you got to do this, you got to go work hard, you got to go to school. These used to be the same people that got seeds planted in their head from past on generations and generations. So you want to look at it like this. You a spirit in the body. You came here to manifest and be successful. You didn't want to come here to basically be a puppet or be a servant for the rest of your life. Feel me? I mean, you got to start somewhere in life. Feel me? Appreciate life. But don't let life take advantage of you and put you in circumstances and situations where you start experiencing witness trials and tribulations because you didn't take advantage of you. You ain't took advantage. You were so you were so naive to the mundane world to the point you ain't do shit with your life. You just basically got used as a puppet, basically used as a vessel. And we hate being used as vessels. And it basically can fuck with your spirit, put you in a low vibrational state to the point where. You're giving all your time and energy to something in front of you, but you're not taking that time and energy to put it inside of you or what you want to manifest and bring into existence on a faster note. Because we manifest every motherfucking day, but the thing is, who are we manifesting for? That's the whole purpose. So listen, when you draw out this circle, <clears throat> right, you could do this anywhere. It don't matter where you do it. As long as the sun, as long as you know where the sun is at, the sun is a Gemini. So that's thinking the communication, thinking the communication intellect as dealing with the Mercury, feel me? 
that's that inter interaction. So of course, when you do this shit, you're gonna be seeing people, places, and things walking all over the place, interacting with people, places, and things, and shit. Six feet. Whoever created that six feet shit, fuck all that shit. We, we ain't even talking about that shit right there. So basically, and of course, the moon hit Taurus. So that's basically practicality. And for me, this is a good this is a good substance. Whatever you want to manifest, as far as know where the um, travels is going with the sun. For me, and make sure that when you do this, make sure the sun is basically rotating into your spectrum, so things can so it can shine into your to your light. So when you do this, you draw that circle. You draw the center stage with the line. You put the dot right there to basically pinpoint. Because the sun is basically on top. The moon is basically the tail. That's like you're dealing with the um, inner. The sun is dealing with the outer. So look at it like this. Left brain is basically masculine. That's the physical. Right brain is basically your needs. Your wants is your sun. Your, your needs is the um, moon. So basically this is what you need. Basically we all have our needs within us. What we want is basically where we got to push out. So basically that's like the son, which is the masculine, which is the father going inside the mother and pushing out manifestation. So basically you got to combine your son, got to combine the left brain and the right brain. Bring these two together and infiltrate what you want to bring into existence. And once you do this, things start going to your favor. So basically once you draw this line out, draw the circle out, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to start right here to the left. That's where you want to start this at. Like, for instance, if you want money, you will put money right there. You would draw it out. Just like how I got, I got the money sign, the, the sigil. Whichever way you want to put it, whichever way you like doing things, whichever way you like to do writings and things to basically play out into your spectrum, you got to be specific and you got to have good intent. You got to be in the natures of basically wanting to do this. When you're doing this shit, people, places, and things are going to be walking by. So, of course... Your first idea gonna be like, oh shit, this person coming by. But that's a weak spirit though. Understand and understand. When people do walk by and shit, they paying attention to this shit. And attention goes where energy flows. <clears throat> so if they paying attention to what you're doing on the floor and what you're drawing out, that's more energy being added to your shit. Cause the sun is basically gonna do this. But we're gonna get there. So basically, if you're so naive on so somebody's seeing what you're doing. Then you, you're not ready to do this shit. Feel me? You're just showing that you just leading by example that you basically a mundane person and you shy. And you can't be shy when you do this shit. You got it. You want it. You got to want to do this shit. So basically, when you draw this shit out, you put it right there. You want money. Boom. That's, that's the first thing. Then now you got to find out what you need the money for. For instance, a house or... You want to use it, f like, you, you can't be naive. You can't be like, oh, I want money just because I want money. Feel me? It don't work like that. You, listen, energy can never be destroyed. It can only be reciprocated. So basically, as you taking the shapes and forms and the signatures of what you want to manifest in life, you got to use it for something. Feel me? Teamwork makes the dream work. So if you're just using it for your own needs and you, you just have money, you're not putting it out there in the opening. Now, how the fuck is this going to basically bring more fruits and labors for you? You just hiding. You just basically you did this shit one time and that's it. You got to basically get the ball rolling. Feel me? The sun and the moon never stop shining. Never. So you should you shouldn't be stopped shining either. You get up every day. You have thoughts and feelings and emotions every single day. Feel me? What are you doing this in this world or what are you doing in another world or another dimension or, or no matter what? So we starting off small. So once you draw that, like once you draw this out, you basically... That's another thing, too. Once you draw out what you need, we about to start getting the ball rolling. We got to start putting energy into this shit. So, one, you can either sit, stand on this, which, which, which you about to go into meditation, spin around, left, right, for me, masculine, which is location, you're going left, and basically right is uh, rotation, because the sun is rotating. We basically, this is like an earth. This is not a globe. This is like a water. We basically rotating and experiencing waters. We driving through, because remember... The sun don't stop shining. Just because the sun is not up right now, don't mean the sun, the sun ain't shining nowhere, somewhere else. It's rotating to another location in another space. So it's basically shining light. That's what's going on. So this can also play with a, with a moon ritual, but we doing a sun ritual. I'm going to get, basically get to a moon ritual in another video. This is basically doing a sun ritual when the sun is shining, what you need to express your values and you need to act into, act into your natures. So this shit can basically go into your favor. So once you draw this shit out, right? <clears throat> You're going to basically either stand on it or sit down. So when you sit down, right, when you meditate, and remember, 
how I tell y'all how to meditate, though. This may be hard for certain, um, well, I ain't going to say hard. Nothing, nothing is never hard. But depending on how, like, your, where, your, um, where your moon sign is, that's how it's going to play out as far as, like, how you meditate and how shit play out into your favor. So look at it like this. If you were, if you were, um, if you were a fire sign, you got to pretty much be more predicated towards being there water and shit. It just basically, you know, when you when you when you doing your meditation and when doing your doing your poses, if you if you a water sign, you gotta be more predicated to more um fuck um fire is more near the near the water, water is near like fire, air is near like the um outside. So you can do this show on your balcony, you can go outside, or um earth is basically dealing with practicality. That's dealing with the substance, that surface level. Basically, you know, like sit Buddha style, whatever. Depend on how, whichever is more comfortable with you in the circumstance situation, how you sit, that's how it's going to play out. So once you utilize that, once you basically do that, what you're going to do is, once you, when you meditate, have a thought, but don't ponder on your thought, feel me? Like, first thing first, you always want to have clairvoyance before you do this. You don't want to be coming here having shit on your mind, feel me? Because remember, the universe works in mysterious ways. So just... Because you want something to come in your way into one way. That's blocking out all the other ways for it can come to you more quicker. For me? Because things may not work into your favor. But you got to add more energy for it can actually play out into your favor. You got to add more intent. You got to do more shit. But that's a whole nother, um video that I'm going to basically put out there. But when you're doing this shit, you got to basically draw it out. Meditate. Make sure you go in there with a clear mind. For me? And then when you do receive high information, like good thoughts and shit, smile. But don't pound on that thought, feel me? Just make sure, yeah, make sure you smile, feel me? Yeah, that's a good thought. That's a good idea. Cool. That's a good spectrum that you can basically play out into your natures. So once you utilize that, once you put that into to the favor, everything will start playing out, For me? And then when you do meditate, you can also lay down where your, the sun can basically touch from head to toe more easier. Like it can just shine on you. Touch a whole solar plexus and shit. So that's how, I, that's how it can also play out. So that's pretty much what you would do and if you also want to add on to the favor you got to draw that star so once you draw that star you could, could once you connect the dots and shit basically <clears throat> this is adding more to what you want to sustain yourself though so remember when things is added things is being brought down to more density levels so that's just more fruits and labors that's going to grow into your favor and that's basically how you play out with those spectrums so you what you want to do also you can bring crystals bring affirmations write down what you want to manifest on paper for me you can, the paper can either sit on the top of you, you can put the crystals on you or something, and you can just basically put the, like lay on the paper. So that's how it's going to play out to that spectrum and play out to your favors. So once you do this shit, feel me, the more time and intent you put into it, like, you're going to get out of it, but basically once you go out there into the public arenas and say, you're only going to experience it throughout people, places, and things, circumstances, and situations. Like, people might just walk up to you and just hand you money. Or if you are a homeless person, this shit can work out for homeless people. That's why I don't give homeless people no money. Feel me? I can teach them this shit. I can teach them how to follow the stars. And they can get money on themselves. Feel me? I, I would never ever put money into a homeless person's hand. Because that's only going to destroy the person. Feel me? So that's how I do my things. That's how I basically initiate things. Feel me? Never ever give somebody money. Only basically show them how to, make, how to get money. Because you already have everything. Feel me? The moment you start to say, I want this, I need this, is the moment you basically saying you don't have this shit and you're going to be put in more circumstances and situations of always wanting and needing shit. For me, that's the whole opposite. You got to play opposite. You already have it. Now you got to play out these energies. Remember, life is backwards. For me, right brain is, is righteousness. Left brain is left. For me, left field. Basically, rebellious. And we are in rebellious nations. So basically, once you play this out, whatever you want to manifest, you put it into the left. That's dealing with the left. That's dealing with the want. That's dealing with the needs. You already have these things. But when you put add intent and energy into this shit, it comes into existence. So that's basically how you do this sun ritual. And of course, we're only going to deal with this spectrum. Because the higher you go, is basically putting yourself into a higher mechanism. And you're not into those worlds yet. And especially if you just turn into your spiritual natures. And you ain't travel other planets and interact with other um, ancestors or other spirits or other beings and shit. To get information on how you basically play out these natures, and don't do it. Because for me, this information, this energy is for us to access. For me, this is the whole purpose of being on this planet. For me, you're not gonna witness no uh, downrights or anything like that. So just don't listen to anybody that basically be telling you, "Oh, it's a spookism and shit." These are motherfuckers that basically will rather be a slave for the rest of their motherfucking life and don't want to manifest shit and keep and cut these motherfuckers off. Because when you manifest, they're gonna come your way. But yo, this is how you do a um, sun ritual. Real shit. I love y'all.